No, I'm good. We're starting this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little, I got a little too much gumbo. Yeah, you gumboed out. Mm-hmm. Was it good? It's not finished, so I'm going to be eating on the podcast. <laughs> Me and Adam had fucking uh, burritos. burritos, dude. Carne asada. Yeah, but Nick is still in that NBA all-star game, New Orleans right. fever. So if you know something about some Nick Mullen, gumbo. you know he loves the NBA. I love it, dude. <laughs> Who's your favorite player? He can't player? get it. Oh, fuck. Uh, but first of all, let's just start with the basics. NBA, what does it stand for? Is, uh, you know it. Uh, uh, let's go. Uh, something nice basketball. <laughs> nice, nice basketball. <laughs> Auditorium. They play in auditorium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. Come on. I know this stuff. <laughs> you name me? One, can you name one player that isn't LeBron James? Uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Michael Jackson? He might have backed into it. That was always funny. There was a there was basketball a, was always such a fucking horrific source of humiliation for me as a kid because you yeah. had to go to basketball camp. No, prior yeah. to that, everyone in my neighborhood played basketball, and I fucking completely lacked the coordination to play. Oh, and dude. it was like just shameful. It was fucking awful. You played baseball. Yeah, I played baseball. Yeah, me and when too. we played pickup football games, Fuck and I was baseball. fine. You know. I was never like big, so I wasn't good. But for my size, I would. But Are I you fast. Oh, I'm literally no. the best athlete. I've never. Yeah, I'm, I, you're not. Uh, I am. I'm, no, you're not. No, I always lack the coordination. Than both you're not. Of you. The yeah, the the, the, sure. the, the uh, like uh, ball handling skills were off. I could always shoot, but like having to, you know, like I couldn't cross over. Like incorporating both sides of my body always fucked me up. I were you the person when like you got the ball, everyone started playing the hardest defense? They knew, <laughs> like they knew you were gonna mess up. Yeah. That's uh, so disrespectful. I no. know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. It's like one person, and it's like no. Mostly it was team every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mostly because it was people that were like seven chance. years older than me spiking a fucking basketball at my head and telling me to go home. <laughs> it was like, there wasn't a lot of game playing going on. <laughs> we got Rob Hayes in the mix. What up? Shouts out, Rob. A cum boy, nice to have you, my man. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of this podcast. He's also been on Funny Moms, but I don't think it was recorded for the bonus. Yeah, it was the first one at the new venue, so we'll get Rob on. No, that one got recorded. Not the first one. They were all recorded. Not the first one. Yes, every single one of them. All right, he's wrong. But well, I okay. sign a release, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we don't. We don't actually don't. Uh, fuck with, we don't yeah. fuck with releases. Yeah, uh, we don't believe in that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, the um, only person to get this yeah, I don't know if you knew this or not, but this is like a socialist. This is a prominent socialist podcast, <laughs> which means we <laughs> fuck over. My understanding of you know, I guess, uh, 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 material. Yes, uh, critique. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, Materialism. Yeah, yeah is that. Uh, you you don't ask permission for shit. You just take whatever you want. You <laughs> yeah. Know, you don't pay taxes. You know. You Sounds can't tight. own ideas, brother. Yeah, that's right. You that's that, that's and that, so that includes your bits. Yeah, that we includes all share bits. your yeah. bits. We call that we call that San Antonio style comedy. <laughs> when you Men do see other, as law. When you do, yeah. When you do, you go down to the valley. You fucking do Orlando's bits, regardless of whether he gives you permission or not, <laughs> because they love Orlando down there. Who's Orlando? I don't know. I, I I think I mentioned it before. I saw a thread on Facebook in like some San Antonio comedians Facebook group that was like, "Is it wrong to steal jokes?" <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, like if I'm in a valley, right? Let's say I'm in a valley, and this guy was saying this. He's like, "I know they love Orlando's jokes. I'm just gonna do Orlando's jokes." <laughs> and then Orlando's like in the thread. He's like, "Yeah, of course, man. Why not?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought he's about entertaining the audience. <laughs> he's you right, know? dude. Yeah, that's how magicians do it. Yeah. No, they don't, dude. They're actually fucking because uh, magicians can actually patent their tricks. Oh, really? A lot of you, you can copyright them. I mean, not patent, but you can copyright tricks, which you can't with jokes. And magicians make a lot of fucking money selling, their devising tricks. the methodology for certain tricks, and then selling them to bigger acts in yeah. Vegas. Oh, they got so really that's mad. Make, that's how you make money as a magician. When that Fox special came out, like magicians' yeah. tricks revealed, like they were fucking furious at that guy. Oh yeah, who like showed how they did all the tricks. So he wore a mask on the special. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, and then it there was out, that and one where they, he took the mask off. And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and it was yeah. Milo Still don't Yiannopoulos. Know who you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was Milo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. That guy, who the fuck are you? It's just a magician. Like no one, no magicians have face recognition. Yeah, you know? someone's gonna shoot him in the mouth, but for real. Ooh, you know he's not gonna be able to catch it in his lips. <laughs> Did you see David Blaine fucked up and accidentally shot himself in the throat last week? No, no. Like last month. Yeah, he had this. He had this like metal like diva cup device that he developed that you put in between your teeth. 
And so he had someone shoot him in the fucking mouth. Jesus. You know, they point a gun in his mouth and shoot him. And it slipped. It, like, slipped off his tooth. And so the bullet, like, just went past it. Ah! Is it dead? It's supposed to Ah. shatter. No, but it, like, lodged in the back of his throat. And he had to go to the hospital. And he's like, close one. And then just did it again. God damn. Imagine having that kind of Do you remember when Michael Jackson won that David Blaine's a fucking beast. David Blaine is rules, and I will defend him to anybody. A lot, a lot of people like to fucking laugh at David Blaine. I think he's sick, dude. He's cool as shit because yeah. he doesn't. Fuck, he's not afraid of anything. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh wow, he's a magic guy. He does fucking tricks or whatever. But he'll like lock himself in a room with a bomb because he's like, oh, yeah, I heard. <laughs> I think that you can actually defuse a bomb for real, and then he could just die someday. He might. That'd be From well, Harry Houdini does. Yeah, you know? that's the biggest. But D- David Blaine's David Blaine's, Blaine's much better than Houdini. Well, Houdini is his different hero. Different eras, dude. You can't. Yeah, yeah. Different yeah. eras, you know? exactly, man. It's yeah. like sports. Houdini you know? didn't have the three point shot. <laughs> yeah, there's exactly. The exactly. Houdini had knives. He wasn't sticking through his shot fucking clock. brain. You know. <laughs> what did Houdini actually? Just David Blaine. Up? David Blaine learned a, a, a magic trick from some Arab guy, from some like Moroccan guy. Yeah, from, the like, water thing. The water thing. There's this Arab guy, or like I don't know, North Africa that would do this trick where he would drink water and then he would drink kerosene and so the kerosene would sit on top of the water and then he would like throw up the water or the kerosene and like you know spray like a cannon yeah though. like a cannon spray fire out of his stomach across the Jesus flame Christ. and then he would throw up all the water to put it out and uh, the guy did the trick like twice and then killed himself doing it and David Blaine was like I'm gonna learn that. I'm gonna learn how to do that. <laughs> when he does it now, that's like a trick he does. Do you remember when Michael Jackson won that award, like Artist of the Millennium, and like he was like on so many drugs and confused, and he goes up there. It's like a year before he died, and he's like, "I just want to thank." Uh, first off, I want to thank David Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Your magic is real." <laughs> anyway, thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, he thanked David Blaine, and then he took the award, and then like he did, wasn't sure which side of the stage to walk off. He looked like so confused. Poor MJD. Yeah, dude. Wait, I mean, I thought he won a different award, and he claimed it was the, the artist, artist of, of the, the millennium. millennium. Oh, I think really? You're right. Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> he's like, "Thank you for this artist of the millennium award," and they're like, "That's not." This is he just he presented. He just got his. <laughs> yeah. He got his AAA card in the mail. Yeah. And then at a press conference, <laughs> I saw my, uh, Michael Foodie had a joke on Facebook the other day. That was like that song "Bad" was about raping kids. Yeah. <laughs> Your butt is mine. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> but is that a joke? You know, or is that know. just that's just the truth? That might be the truth, dude. Well, the backup singers they say bad, bad. Really, really bad. Yeah. Which never scared anybody. Yeah. Right. You know? it's, true. it's not convincing at all. <laughs> Only little kids would be like, oh, he's really, really bad. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. No, Wesley Snipes wasn't He's scared. like, you gotta stop me from myself. I can't help myself. <laughs> it's up to you, children, to stop me. Yeah. Disease. Yeah. And luckily, we have, of the mind. <laughs> yeah. we have Milo now to defend Michael. Yeah, shouts out to Milo. How fucking funny is that, dude? That's like the best way for this whole thing to end. That he Milo's, got Pizzagated? Milo's not... Well, he's not even Pizzagated, dude. He's just an open pedophile. <laughs> yeah, did you it's not like he got caught video? with child porn, which in no. its, it, by its own This is going right, to be late when it comes out. It doesn't matter, yeah. which in its own way would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, if you know, yeah. child porn would be. Are y'all talking about Milo from Good Morning Miss Bliss? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Milo from Milo and Otis, the pug, <laughs> <laughs> the pug from that weird mo- Japanese movie. Is uh, <laughs> what other what other Milos of notes are there? Um, Milo, uh, there's a babe character, baby Milo. Okay, yeah. It's apparently, Claire Jeffrey's son is named Milo. Nice. Yeah, Milo Brando. Yeah, Milo Brando. Milo Brando. <laughs> um, my, my um. Shit, it. there's not a lot of Milos, huh? I thought there was. I think feel like we're missing there's one. A, there's a Wayans brother, I think. One Milo Wayans. Milo Wayans. <laughs> Are you thinking yeah. of the Marx brothers? There's probably a Milo Marx somewhere. Yeah, there's a Marx. There's a he Wayans. He only did black. There were nine Marx brothers. Yeah, Carl. Sucko, Fucko. Harpo. Carl Marx. Keenan oh, yeah. Ivory Marx. Keenan Ivory Marx, <laughs> yeah. He directed everything. You don't really see him. Yeah. yeah. He had really bad male pattern ball. Yeah. <laughs> he was the star of that cartoon Marx Head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we're talking about Milo Wayne Head. Wayne Head was a garbage cartoon. Was this that show that sucked. Called? Yeah, Wayne Head. I don't remember Wayne Head. I don't think I would have watched it if I wasn't black. I remember. But it, was, it wasn't even a good fucking... 
cartoon. No, it was a Wayne's cartoon. Wait, yeah. is that yeah. the one where he's got the fucked up foot? He's got, yeah, weird he's got foot. braces. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like Forrest Gump. So it's like braces was like that's right. Hot. That was that a terrible time. cartoon. Yeah, I I gave it a shot because I was a big I was a big uh, uh, Wayne's in living fan. color. Yeah, just I liked I liked the show they had on UPN. Remember the Wayne? What was it just called the Wayne's Brothers? Do you show? Yeah, yeah. The we're brother. Sean and Marlon. They used to come on Fox where he was a detective. And yeah, like what David was Allen that? David Greer lived on his couch. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. it's so bad. Every it was like one on season. YouTube. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. show is that? It's like the Damon Wayne show. Huh. God damn. Where he plays <laughs> a detective? They've had a, they've had a lot of shows. Uh, but yeah, the, the Wayne's brothers were brothers, were funny, and were, uh, we're, were colored. Were colored, yeah. yeah. Give, Give me, me a, a high five. five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they said colored in the fucking theme I remember, song. <laughs> I remember, like, John Witherspoon's character just, like, annoying the shit out of me on that show. I think it was the best part. Uh, I, he was I, great. I felt, yeah, nah, he did, he just bothered bang, the shit bang, out of bang, me. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. He was their dad, right? Yeah. 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 Who else? Uh, their sis. Uh, is that their sister? Kim Wayans. Kim Wayans is their sister. She was on it. I remember wanting to fuck her back in the day. Um, and then she they also was on in the house with LL Cool J. That's right, in the house. In the house yeah. with Phase on Love too. Right? Yeah, Phase on Love is on a Parenthood. Parenthood. That's WB. it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. He was also wasn't he the, the 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 like a like a tertiary character on in the house. Was he? I don't, I'm well, not sure. LL was a retired football player. LL now, right? was a retired football player. Now named he's a Marion. Yeah, yeah Marion. That's right. That's right. Yeah. He became a name. He was a running back. And he yeah, slept yeah. upside he was on the down sharks. like Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I remember seeing that and being like, what the fuck is LL Cool J doing <laughs> acting? He was I didn't on the, realize you could just do that. You could be a musician and become an actor. Yeah, yeah. he was with uh, Jamie Foxx. Al Pacino was the coach. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Lawrence LT had to get one more sack. Right. right. A lot of people made that get... transition pretty fucking successfully. Yeah. There weren't very many false starts, you know? Well, I mean, who? like almost anybody that pursued, or like anyone of like uh, the mu- or like mid 90s rapper, R&B artists that pursued acting careers, it's hard to find people. Ice that... Cube is like one of the main comedians. Yeah, he's you know, he's oh, super yeah, successful. Right. But you're I mean, right it's, it's hard to find people that, like, it's not like. Usher made one bad movie and then quit. Well, well maybe he Actually, did. Actually, Usher, Usher faculty's he? not good. Yeah, faculty. Yeah, is not good. He's what in. Good I guess Usher I, Usher's the example. Usher's, Usher's the, the example. example yeah, she's that's all the guy that. that He's the DJ of the school, and she's yeah. all that. Oh yeah, he's in that. He's played Sugar Ray Leonard in a movie recently, right? Really? Did yeah. he? I missed that. He yeah. can't act. I don't know. He's all right. He was good in that episode of Moesha. <laughs> yeah. You think there are any pilots of like rappers oh, that yes. we like we'll never see? Oh, that's yes, a great there's question. a Drake comedy pilot which is on YouTube, which is so unfunny. But Drake you know I mean? was yeah. a successful actor before he was a musician. Yeah, well, he yeah. tried to like yeah, he's the opposite. So before he, you know, comeback season or maybe even concurrent with it, he was like, "I'm going to write a comedy pilot," mm-hmm. and it's on YouTube. It's terrible. It's so unfunny. Ice T is definitely the weirdest of all of them. Oh, he's yeah. super successful. Because yeah, but he had the he had like a fucking dud of a dramatic career prior to Law and Order. Did he's he? in that Leprechaun he's movie. He's in so many shitty movies. He's in know. New Jack City. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, which New Jack City? Not a particularly good movie. You don't think so? It's it's one of the best Ice T movies. But I mean, like surviving the game and fuck it. I just watched this one uh, Judgment Day. The other day, where like there's a meteor that's going to destroy Earth, so they have to take him out of prison to stop it. Or something <laughs> like that. it was have, like a- have you ever seen Trespass? No, it's Ice T and Ice Cube. Hell yes, and uh, they're like in rival gangs, but like the, where they live, there's like a fire. So uh-huh. they like, decided like, well, should we fight or should we escape this fire? <laughs> Really? That's the plot? <laughs> the villain is a fire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking good. They're going to melt all that ice, man. That's right. That's a very cold <laughs> cup of iced tea. What's that movie? Uh, was it D- Deep Blue? Deep Blue Sea? Yeah. 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 I want to watch that again. That's Dude, a good You didn't movie. like New Jack City? I love that shit. I mean, uh, it's okay. I mean, it's, I love where there's na- just a naked trap house. Everyone's yeah, naked yeah, yeah. with fucking masks on. Like, that's. <laughs> 
for some reason you have to do that. Yeah, What's I, the that's thing? classic. I remember every time. You know what? I think I think that, like that movie starts off and you think it's going to be better than it is, and you that's get about halfway through and you're yeah. like, I don't want to watch it. No, that's then. a good point because it transitions in eras, right? It's all like uh, Adidas tracksuits at the beginning, right? No, it's just like you think it's going to be eras, but it's yeah. just like two eras. It's yeah. two eras. Like yeah, yeah. Late eighties and then slightly early later eighties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's really weird. I'll give you that. You think it's going to be like awesome and just like a fucking just an awesome like mob movie, basically, and then it's just like it's it peters good. out. It yeah, really they shoot out. up that wedding. Yep, and yep. then Nino Brown picks up a little girl to like be his human shield. Yeah, yeah that's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nino Brown, it could have been so much better and more. That's the way I feel about King of New York too. I thought it was gonna be because I was like, man, this is awesome. It's like uh, it's why it's why Biggie calls himself Frank White, and then it's just like a pretty, yeah. pretty mediocre movie overall. I finally saw King of New York like two years ago. I was so disappointed. Exactly. Yeah. It's so. I got it in college. I was like, I think I got it one day. Uh, it was like my birthday. I was really drinking hard as shit and I was like fat as hell. And I drank like 15 natural lights alone and just watched King of New York and ordered Chinese food. And that was like my 22nd birthday. I mean, the 20- best. Oh, yeah, dude. The early 20s birthdays are the fucking best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, so yeah, good. I'm old now. I don't give a shit about birthdays anymore. And then you just like cry. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm having an adult birthday. <laughs> I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm like, drinking half a drinking 30 rack. baby's first beer. <laughs> yeah. Baby's first fucking entire suitcase of PBR. <laughs> I remember my 19th birthday. I was so happy so many people wrote on my wall. I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, my God. Like, dude, that's all you get anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's all I I had to take my birthday off social media, but uh, yeah, no, the the first year when you don't get all those fucking Facebook likes, you're like, damn. Yeah. This shit sucks. Yeah, or like when your two of your best friends don't come to your birthday party. I was uh, first dying, of all, you know? Adam was sick, so we couldn't go. <laughs> I had to take care of Adam. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Rob. That was oh, really man. cool, man. Had a I had blast. to sit by the bed and so <laughs> put a washcloth on Adam's head. <laughs> yeah, he's my That's my true. wet nurse. Yeah, right. What is this titties? And what yeah. is a wet nurse? A wet nurse you, is you breastfeed. Yes, yeah, breastfeed. Nick was my wet nurse. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought a wet nurse was just like a nurse is ready to fuck. Yeah, yeah. fuck that nurse. <laughs> Her yeah. pussy is just yeah. ready. She's ready to go, dude. A tight yeah. nurse. A tight nurse. Yeah. I, 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 excuse me, where's my ass sex nurse? <laughs> <laughs> I forget the term for it. An uh, RN? Yeah. A rectum? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if y'all were ever in a nursing home, do you think you would like get hard when it was like bath time? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, with a sponge bath? Well, I don't 100%. think they give those people Viagra. <laughs> Because, I mean, your dick doesn't work after nah, a certain point. No, they give point. you Viagra. No, yeah. Everybody? Everybody? No, fucks they can't. Yeah, that's it's a fucking problem. Because then they because have, they like... they get STDs. They get STDs and yeah, shit. Yeah, because they, they don't know I what will, Jimmy hats are. I will only go to a nursing home if I get Viagra. I remember, they never had I remember Jimmy before hats my grandma World died. Yeah. Before my grandma died, going to see her in the nursing home. And they just had this one room. And they filled a bunch of fucking old people with it. And they were all they had some, like, Judy Garland movie on. And she's like... Ah, like singing in the background <laughs> yeah. and then there's some woman in a wheelchair that's just like ah! Ah! just <laughs> screaming at the top of her lungs looking around she has no idea where she is <laughs> just fucking terrified and it's like stop playing old movies it's not like a nostalgia thing for them you're just tricking them yeah, yeah she yeah. thinks it's 1948 yeah. there's a judy garland movie on a tv that's completely flat and nine times bigger than anything she's seen and she's trapped in her own horrible body right yeah. I don't know, some old people only want to watch old stuff yeah like my grandparents only want to watch westerns Really? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, well, westerns are badass, dude. That's a smart choice. <laughs> yeah. My grandma always like dumb gay shit. Like fucking, she would always have to put on like Black Beauty or Pippi Longstocking. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's so children's movies for girls. Yeah, that's what my grandma liked watching. Well, you revert back to childhood at that stage. Like dude, right I'm before kind of, you I die. Like to fucking, I would like to. My grandmother only watched stuff with guns in. <laughs> you have a much more badass grandma. <laughs> yeah. Than yeah. She's really into spaghetti westerns. <laughs> well, yeah, all kind of westerns. Spaghetti westerns. Yeah. She watched Gunsmoke every day. Gunsmoke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, have you seen Hell or High Water? Yeah, I did. It's oh, so good, dude. That Sick. Yeah, that is a great. That yeah, that's a that's a uh, modern classic. It I was about to get it. I was actually year. about to get it yesterday, but it's like fucking seventeen dollars to buy it online or on. PlayStation. Uh, well, I rented it for like four bucks. I want to own my shit, dude. I want to get a nice library going. 
I mean, I only do that if it's a movie I've seen. I never like watch movies times. multiple times. Yeah, I do. There's movies within I, a year. No, I don't. Yeah, not within a year. I'll buy yeah. something if I've seen it a million times and I want to watch it again. You know, because yeah, I know yeah. I'll probably do it again. Yeah, I'll like I bought something. Christine the other day because I know I'll watch Christine again. I buy something if I know I'm gonna watch it on a plane. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then it's like point. you know you don't have access to the internet. Hell you yeah, might dude. just want to pull something up. Netflix now you can fucking download shit. It's tight, dude. You just fucking save for later. You yeah. can, yeah, on some of their shit. Oh, yeah, that's tight. I, yeah. I'm, I want. I'm gonna sign up for the DVD rental service if Netflix ever offers like uh, 4K UHD Blu-rays. Because that's that? that's what I want. Is I thought they got rid of that part of the business. No, no, it's still allowed. It is. They'll take your money if you want to yeah. give them more. Because yeah. those are those are like forty dollars a disc. You know? Really? Yeah. Damn. But that's like the kind of shit. That's that's how you make full use of a TV like this. Yeah, but. You can stream 4K, but like, you know, I'm sure those UHD discs look amazing. Mm. They probably look good, but who gives a shit? I do. Can't you just buy those at (laughs) like Best Buy? Because even even with this TV, you're still not close to the original resolution of film. Yeah, you know, people say, oh, 4K, well, like, what's even going to fucking look that good? And you can make that argument for contrast ratios, because film only has a contrast ratio of, like, at the most, I think, like, you know, 1 to 800 or something. But, uh, like, a, 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 if you were to scan, like, digitally scan 70 millimeter film, it would be, like, 18K. Oh, really? God damn. Yeah. So film just does look better than ever. Oh, a million times better. That's yeah. Awesome. I, yeah, I don't grew know up shit. with a fat back TV. I doubt I would care that yeah, much. Totally. Me neither. Yeah. Well, for home media, yeah, you wouldn't. But like, you know, I mean, I everyone did. Everyone grew up with like a CRT television. Mm-hmm. But like watching shit like Hateful Eight on this TV, you know, it does make a difference. And then that's when you start to become like a fucking nerd about you know resolutions and shit because i would just download everything and i would download whatever fucking rip i could find and be like wow look how small this file size is this is perfect and then i watch it on my laptop or whatever right but if you try watching like a fucking you know like a, a 720p rip on this tv it's gonna look like absolute shit and it does yeah, change yeah, yeah. like the the experience of watching a movie mm. yeah that's why I don't, I don't fucking I, I very rarely will buy fucking movies i just netflix that shit or i'll just download the i don't know anything about resolution though either I don't, I'm not trying to learn more shit, dude. I want to be I want to be in the fucking writer's guild so I can get screeners. That would be tight. Yeah. Can get screeners you? and you can go to fucking uh, a couple like the art house theaters in New York for free. Really? You can go yeah, to Sunshine for free. You go to Sunshine for free. How much would it piss you off if the screeners were poor quality? <laughs> yeah. They are. They're like DVDs. Mm. So DVDs aren't even good enough for you. No, anymore. DVDs mm. suck now. That's the new thing. Really? Not the new thing, but that's... DVDs suck. I mean, you can stream fucking, uh, like, better quality content. Because I don't think DVDs can even handle 1080p. Nah, DVDs really. doing pretty well for technology from 1995. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I mean, the thing is, is because home media is going to die. They're not going to have physical media anymore. Eventually, there's going to be fucking gigabit uh, internet to everybody's house. And you're going to be able to stream, you know, whatever the TV can fucking handle. So you're going to be able to just stream K four like stream 4K Ultra HD, and there's going to be no reason to go buy a forty dollar DVD. Mm-hmm. You know, have you ever beat off on this TV? No, and in fact, I can't do it on any kind of TV. It feels weird. I need to beat off to a small screen. But wouldn't that feel what? nice? <laughs> wouldn't it feel cool to just yeah. have fucking no. big ass screen? It's fucking weird, dude. It's weird nah. to jack off. To I agree, screen. dude. Nah. I know. It, I know it. It's it's because, live a no, little. when you're filling a room with pornography, you you're like, what the your fuck roots, am I doing, dude? Yeah. Your beat off roots. What was <coughs> the first on, thing you beat off Mac. to? V- yeah, VCR, no. Sin- Skinamax. No. Shit like that. You yeah, find your dad's pornos. It's too big. It's too big. Yeah, what? I need too big. You I need to just feel like shameful? I'm being bad and shameful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't feel extra guilty after. Well, then that. put the TV up to the window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In college, one time we had we found a big ass. Oh yeah, is that girl? She's out there? not out there. Damn. Yeah. We Yesterday saw we were podcasting with JP and we saw a lady having sex. With a man, she had some big old titties, dude. It's yeah. like the you're, girls like that. They fucking, like being it's just near a the regular window. looking woman, and it's already just because you started naked one time. She had big. She titties. had the biggest titties of all time. First yeah. of all, the fuck you, Adam. Time. <laughs> you were on. You were. You just dude, like not getting made hot. fun of, but you know she had big ass. titties. I agree, dude. She Thank she you. had large. Breasts. Don't you dare be a traitor right now. I'm Nick not trade. I'm not betraying enjoy you. anything, dude. He can't even like seeing. I'm too titties. cool school. For, too cool for school, dude. <laughs> I'll do cool. Too too cool for school. <laughs> I don't even care. <clears throat> um, 
but I don't fucking know. Yeah, I'll, I'll beat off to the fucking... What, what was the first porno you found, Rob? What was the first... Is there, like, the a memorable, vi- like, video you found? Like, I think I've talked about the weird Greek porno I found of my father's. No. I haven't? I don't think so. Really? Maybe. It's the Greek Bible. Yeah, it was it was just a dub. It was dub. about Zeus. It was a porno where everyone was just like, it was so funny. It was so stereotypically Greek. Nice. Yeah. Uh, it was like this fucking woman with just the hairiest pussy I've ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, she looked like she had like a fucking a small a small child in a headlock. Like that's what in a fucking, triangle choke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looked like she had Kramer in a triangle. <laughs> <Yeah. thing. laughs> and her fucking and it's like it was the kind of pubes that like migrate straight from your pussy to your ass like the grundle was jet black yeah you ever see that you know picture I mean? of, of wow. demi and moore's bush yes oh, dude yeah, yeah. pussy is fucking out of control it was oh, crazy the well, first thing i think I somebody still would, in school printed a picture hell yeah do you remember who just a uh, regular porno yeah it was just a regular point like nice. pussy.com or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like going <laughs> in the browser just like trying to get lucky <laughs> And get past I love a terrible com, dude. public school yeah. firewall, dude. One time, I know you tried every word. I remember we lesbian. had like a, we had we had lesbian um, was always a workaround. Um, yeah. Oh my. Wait, God. Wait, that's yeah. Demi Moore's puss. That's kind of what the woman's Lee. pussy I was talking about looked like. Look at that, dude. Good yeah, that's God. A, that's actually exactly the kind of bush I'm talking about. I Guys, think look it's up, you can't see the lips or anything. You got to be up, John McClane to like work sex? around that. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> no. Oh damn. Um, but yeah, uh, the first fuck. What was I just talking about before we looked at her pussy? That's insane. Oh, oh yeah, going. To, I remember I was in a I was in a like programming class in, in my middle school, and uh, we tried <laughs> we tried every word, and for some reason tits dot com <laughs> worked. It got through the public school filter, and we were just looking at titties. But little did we know, like the our teacher just. One hundred percent could track every website oh, that we were of course, on. Yeah, no. and he, lesbian uh, was always a workaround. I remember if you put in lesbian something, they, nice. for some reason the firewall wouldn't catch it. I remember yeah. in that in that same program class, it's offensive. I learned how to write uh, penis and big ass letters and flashing letters, and I just like programmed like three different girls program i just went in and changed it so it started flashing penis wait you were hacking i was hacking <laughs> yeah <laughs> i didn't I know about stop's background in hacking i was eighth grade hacking on html but that's I, cool dude i didn't learn anything but and then my professor or my teacher tried to uh uh confront me and i just left the room it was pretty cool i was a pretty badass back in those days but i'm sorry you were talking about beating off to a picture <laughs> you know what i always wish i had learned how to do Beat was uh, RF hack the PA systems in schools? Yeah, that would have been tight. I know, but there probably weren't on RF signals, but no way. You know, there had to have been a way to do that. And I wish I was cool enough in elementary school to know how to do that. Yeah, a fi- a uh, this hacker. is the principal speaking. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, school's canceled because I'm gay now. <laughs> uh, uh, all by the way, all the retarded kids have detention. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. Uh, lunch is just nuggets every day. What was the good school lunch for you guys? My French shit was bread pizza. The French bread pizza. But like in retrospect, it wasn't that good. We thought it ruled. Though. Everyone loved the nuggets, but at, at, at a young age, I knew that shit was fucked up and weird. You knew about pink slime before I just could it feel No, it just wasn't uh-huh. good. They weren't good nuggets, man. Yeah. I don't know why we like school lunch pizza. Because we would get real pizza and it was a so lot. Much better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, anytime something sure. happened, we'd get That's real pizza. so true. But true. we'd go crazy for that sorry-ass square pepperoni mm-hmm. rectangle pizza. What do they call that? Sicilian style? No, French bread. Is square? Dude. No, French bread's like the tombstone pizza. Yeah. Sicilian, no, yes. Yeah, we Sicilian, didn't get Sicilian French Sicilian. bread pizza until like high school. Oh, really? I don't, yeah, I don't think You just think had that little had fucked up carb. Yeah, yeah, actually, you know yeah, what? You I had didn't the square either. pizza. It came in a box. Did your shit come in a box? Well, it was one It was one company that, that made the food for every school in the country. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. It's like prisons. Cisco or whatever? Yeah, Cisco probably. Actually, yeah. We probably had the same shit. We were in the same region. Yeah, I had yeah. Cisco, uh, Cisco, Cisco made all Baltimore. the food for... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 when I worked at Jerry <laughs> Subs and Pizza... <laughs> Cisco. It was, yeah. It was also... Yeah, Drew they Hill also made did, pizza. Yeah. <laughs> they also did the thong song. Yeah. Um, you know, I saw Drew Hill at, in the Inner Harbor at that fucking... That fudge Chocolate shop. Chocolate store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, back in the day. When they were singing. Yeah. Were we singing? With Cisco, like, as like a little kid... 
Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I had no uh, did no context or awareness. Was of how he blonde he, yet? No, I don't even remember at all. I just remember the fudge shop where people would sing while making giant candy bars. Were they super fan? And then I would tell my singing? friends, I'm like, they made a candy bar that was 10 feet long. They'd be like, shut up, faggot. No, they didn't. <laughs> There's no candy bar that big, you fucking faggot. <laughs> I'm like, stop. I'm not lying. <laughs> I remember when uh, Drew can we Hill came can we team up that? and call someone else a faggot? Oh yeah, yeah I remember that. <laughs> I was so happy, man. Yeah, dude. They they had the jump move that they would do. Oh yes, that was the pride of Baltimore, dude. Cisco, when the thong song hit, that was just the pride of Baltimore, dude. Everyone was like, dude, he's from here. Yeah, and I, do you remember twelve year old girls with their thongs exposed? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude! Yeah, it became all. a problem in my middle school. Snapping thongs, yeah. Became a thing. <laughs> You'd like go up behind girls and like pull it like five feet back and like yeah. they just start crying and yeah. stuff, just digging into their pussies. Yeah, because their pants <laughs> just were... assaulting girls. Girls assaulting pants girls that lower. were yeah, were yeah. exposing their, their underwear. Higher. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> exposing their g-string underwear. I mean, you know, I don't want to say that somebody could ask to be sexually assaulted. <laughs> But you can at least say, hey, don't rape me, wink, wink. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's kind of what you're doing by there's, wearing your underwear. Those are the head. views of Nick Mullen. <laughs> Who's gay. I'm gay, so you're not allowed to criticize me or that's anything true. I say. Fuck, that's a good loophole. It's like yeah. Milo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like how Milo got away with it. Oh, yeah, weren't we talking about Milo? <laughs> yeah, Milo, like... 30 minutes ago Yeah we're yeah. talking about Milo Yiannopoulos That's that's how he got oh, started On yeah, all this yeah. shit Yeah So Milo rapes children uh, <laughs> And he Which he had just admitted I can't believe he, How could he be that fucking well, dumb he just Yeah he How said, fucking stupid I mean I knew he was a fucking idiot But yeah. Jesus Christ How yeah. fucking dumb do you have to be If you really feel that way Especially knowing the company that you keep yeah, yeah. <laughs> to think that you could just fucking say, "I think it's cool when older men fuck thirteen-year-old boys." <laughs> he called thirteen. He called being thirteen a mature sexual person. Yeah, he may have said when you've matured sexually at thirteen. <laughs> That's that terrible. Was- that was the prime. I remember I was at a party in college once, and there was some weird Brazilian talking about how he fucked a thirteen-year-old in Brazil while he was in the army. And I was like, all right, man, I got to get the fuck out of this party. <laughs> everyone was like, everyone was just horrified. I was having a wonderful time. <laughs> and he's just like some 32-year-old man who just came to America to go to college. And he's just telling this fun to him party story about having sex with a 13-year-old. <laughs> and everyone was just like, all right, <laughs> we're all leaving. Yeah. This is fucked up. <laughs> I don't want to fucking be That's here anymore. Hard, dude. I feel so weird. I was, he was like I, bragging. I was laughing so hard when we were at fucking Bobby Kelly's podcast and you were saying, you showed your dick to a kid and John Moses thought you meant like now yeah. and he was about he was about to like reach across the table and fucking beat the shit yeah. out of you yeah. the look on his eyes like you showed your dick to a fucking kid because <laughs> he's one of those like cool dads that hates pedophiles I guess yeah, yeah. one of those yeah, that's cool like a way to be a cool dad, dad. Yeah. 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 he didn't he didn't understand Stav's nuance yeah, Yo, I remember this dude tried to uh, spot me at the gym when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, no. And my dad was there and, like, chased him out of the gym. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing, dude? Squats? Did he get right behind you and <laughs> follow you down? I don't know. I was just, like, I, I was just, like, working out, but, like, I don't know. I guess he thought I was in there by myself. Right, right, and right, right, like, right, right. He was just, like, saying to my dad, I help people. And my dad was like, no, nah, not today. <laughs> 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 Every like kids like sitcom had like the pedophile, the pedophile episode. <laughs> episode like smart guy. I oh, remember yeah. like there's a guy who was like, uh, "Hey TJ, you really like video games? <laughs> I have like a surfboard simulator. You just have to come to my garage." Hey TJ, you know what make it look real good is if you were surfing without your shirt on. Yeah, if you were wearing a swimsuit. Yeah, he was like, yeah, you don't yeah, want yeah. the other kids to think. That you're surfing with a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every single one. Did any did any child in one of those? Did they ever raise the stakes to the point that one of them got fucked by? It? No, they I always think they, they always got like saved at the last second. Yeah, like yeah. goo would come in and save the kid, save Hell the day. Yeah. Well, it's, there was a bunch of PSAs back in the '90s where you know it would be like, uh, "Hey, th- if this happens to you or whatever," and it's so funny because it would always start like. 
child actors that you know their fucking stage mom was like every role counts michael <laughs> right, right and then right, this kid right. got to be in one thing where they're like and then he stuck it in my ass <laughs> <laughs> it didn't it felt bad <laughs> also, they never act in anything ever again in their entire life it was their one role yeah, it's their fucking one role because they're piece of shit fucking agent slash manager mom was like yeah do, uh, do the one where an old man fucks you <laughs> in your tree house but also if they, there's one group of children that got fucked by the most it's child actors like all yeah. of them got fucked well yeah, the director came out after he was like great take zachary why don't we come in my trailer <laughs> why do you gotta make him gay <laughs> because, because it's a hollywood pedophile <laughs> how do you think those people talk no they talk they're not normal, church dude. pedophiles yeah, I you feel think like, like the girl. There's two I, pedophile voices. That, sorry, three. <laughs> that, um, uh, holding up giant pants and saying "eat fresh," <laughs> and then the the last one, which is just a Boston accent. <laughs> <laughs> you want to earn the money, kid? <laughs> that feels real good, there, kid. <laughs> <laughs> make um, sure to make sure to wipe it off before you go back to your house, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your fucking mother asking me what all that. Is. I don't have to explain to her you got glue on your fucking hairline. <laughs> Again, See? we're supposed to be saying prayers here. <laughs> what are you about to say, Rob? I don't know. I got glue on his face. He must be fucking retarded. Yeah, or something. he's fuck. He was eating glue. Uh, that's why his breath smells like that. All right, now eat some of this glue to cover up your breath. <laughs> that's his thing. <laughs> cover. I was yeah. just thinking if, like, child actors that are in, like, inappropriate movies, if they sneak and watch them because they in them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I always thought that about that. Like, kids that have to cuss in movies. Or just, or, or like, yeah. like the girl from Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah. Like, like she, like, snuck and watched it and was like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the rest of her life, she's going to know she was in that movie. Yeah. Yeah, at a certain point, I always think you about that. You watch a video? I'm trying to find the one. It's, it's, this is the PSA I wanted to watch, but it starts off with some dickhead who's, who's, uh, prepended the video with his Counter Strike video. You know, it's like, oh, dude, it's, it's me, the fucking badass gamer here. And instead of the video you want to watch, it's, you know, that's why I fucking hate the Young Turks. I've never f- completed a Young Turks video. I've only accidentally clicked on them when I'm looking for something else. And then that fat Turkish dumbass is like, oh, yeah, so today we got to talk about, like, why are you trying to inform me? <laughs> Obviously, I Googled this fucking thing. I already Who's know what it is. You're not surprising me. To- Jank Unger? Yeah, Junk Dickhead. <laughs> that's his fucking name. <laughs> That's good, dude. You took those fucking young Turks down. Dude. Yeah, I dude. hate them. What were you talking about? Uh, little kids who are in fucked up movies, if they ever get to see their performance. I think probably. Yeah. I'd like to see fucked up movies as a kid. I bet you my parents would let me see them if I was in them. I saw some fucked up movies as a kid. Did I tell you guys how... I probably have how I auditioned for The um, the Kid starring Bruce Willis. No? Yeah, I tried to, I tried to be The Kid with Bruce Willis. Some fat kid. All my friends were in that movie it. Pay It Forward with Haley Joel Osment. Really? Yeah, because they shot it in Vegas at Centennial High School, so they all like tried out and got to be extras in the movie. And you didn't? No, I didn't get to do it. You tried out and you failed? I didn't try out. Why didn't you? I don't know. Here it is. <laughs> we're watching this one. No, fuck. I, I might have to edit this into You're the gonna show. You're going to have to, yeah. We're, We'll watch it afterwards. But basically, this child actor is molested by an old man. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, Yo, his fit game, crazy, though. Yeah, that's yeah. a great outfit. He looks yeah. like Sinbad. Uh, I also <laughs> like the picture of him behind him where he's wearing the same shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's great set design. It's and why child, is that frame so In weird. every child's bedroom, there's a picture of the child wearing the same clothes they have on <laughs> <laughs> what are those taxidermized parrots next to him uh yeah i believe so. Weird. this kid was so cool dude uh, he went back to school and he was like i was in a movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah i yeah mm-hmm. my mom got me into a movie so you guys are fucking lame <laughs> and then everyone found it years um, later did you guys ever get molested yes <laughs> but Nick we're talking did. about this guy so <laughs> Does it just count like if you wasn't ready? <laughs> like a like a girl that happened to my best friend, or one of my best friends, George. Uh, the first time he fucked, he was like fourteen, and the girl was much more sexually aggressive than him, yeah. and, and he didn't particularly want to fuck her either. 
Like this uh, girl like uh grabbed my junk nice on the bus. <laughs> But I didn't like it wasn't it wasn't time yet. You know what I'm saying? So it just hurt. And I was like like please stop. Yeah. That was what my No, my it's first impossible hand job for a man to be sexually assaulted by a woman. I stand by that. I, I mean I found it on Facebook. I'm ready now. But, yeah. Yeah. How what what grade were you in? Ninth grade. I was a late yeah. bloomer. So nah, I dude, I, please, I didn't fuck at all. No, Still but don't. I'm saying like my 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 stuff didn't operate until I was like sixteen. Oh, nice, dude. That's not. You had a little ass, little boy's dick. Until so you were, were fucking 16. as a child. I wasn't. No, no. no. She was I tried could to fuck. Have. She tried to fuck his oh. child dick, but oh. his child dick wasn't ready. Dude. Yeah. Okay. His child dick had. <laughs> Hello. <Hey>, Amber. <laughs> Amber walked in just at that sentence. Yeah. Um, but it's not like you you wouldn't be saying that sentence every five and a half minutes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I had a... No, I don't think I ever got molested. But here's the other thing I wonder about. What if you just forgot? What if you blacked I don't, it out? That's not real, oh, dude. Repressed, repressed memories? memories are this fucked up bullshit thing that came about through, you know, whack job psychiatrists where they were hypnotizing people and then convincing them they were raped and, like, destroying people's fucking lives. Yeah, there was... Uh, what was it? Satanic... Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a satanic uh, child. I mean, we've talked about this yeah, shit Yeah, before. we have. Yeah. Um, I haven't thought about that until a long time, and then it hit me. I was like, oh, shoot. I think I was kind of molested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's different because uh, it wasn't. It wasn't like I was yeah. not It's also bad. like not like the memory's blacked out. It's just like you don't. Yeah, it didn't. You know, you. it didn't bother you, and then you're like, "Oh yeah, I guess I was kind of fucked up." I remember yeah. a kid in my football on my football team said that when he was seven, an old lady fucked him, and that seemed like the weirdest form of molestation. I remember, I remember, this, I remember this kid going around the school when we were like first grade, and he was like, "Yeah, I, I stuck my penis in my uh, in my like sister or whatever." <laughs> <laughs> he's, just like, he's like, "Yeah, I have sex all the time," <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, "That you, you shouldn't do that." <laughs> And I'm sure he's fucked up now. No, According cool. to my dad, my grandfather claims to have lost his virginity at 12 yeah, to dude. a boarder. His family like didn't have a lot of money, so they boarded out one of the rooms in their house. Just some old woman? And it was like a 23-year-old horny woman. What? And she fucked a 12-year-old boy? And she fucked boy. a 12-year-old boy. That sounds awesome. It's like a homeless woman that they left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah, that's probably what happened. <laughs> yeah, that was the price. That was the trade off. I don't know. They're yeah. very poor. It's probably very cold or something. Is it happening in uh? Was it of Human Bondage? Ever read that book where he mm-hmm. fucks like the like did just haggard ass old ass fucking housemaid? <laughs> oh god! And then she's like, "I love you." <laughs> 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 when I, when my little brother when we were in Greece, uh, my cousin tried to sneak out my then eleven year old brother to take him to a whorehouse <laughs> to be like a cool older cousin. Like that was his, and my brother was just scared. He was petrified. And my mom called them. He was like, "Where are you going?" He was like, "Nowhere." And he just went back in. Do you imagine going to a whorehouse? My friends as like a 11? funny prank when I was like away at college. Took my little sister to a strip club. Jesus. Mm-hmm. They were like, "Oh, you're a bitch, dude. We took your sister to a strip club." And I was like, <laughs> "Fuck you, man." <laughs> You did it to Wait, prank me? How old was your sister? <laughs> she like just turned eighteen. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. Your and I was were like, to "Fuck your sister!" By the way, yeah, of course they were trying to fuck my sister. But yeah. like, also, that's what fuck you do them. with sisters, dude. <laughs> you fuck them. That's yeah, why oh, your friends oh, have oh, Fuck out of dude. Wait, wait till he gets a load of this. Like, <laughs> yeah. fucking idiot, dude. We're gonna take his sister to a strip club. <laughs> did they take her to a good one. They took her to Little Darlings, apparently. And I Is called my friend Tommy and I was like, when I get back to Vegas, I'm going to fucking kick your ass so bad. <laughs> Did you kick his ass? Uh, in in meta- meta- metaphorical sense. You never punched him Metaphorical you're a sense. Uh, Have you ever what fought anyone? Uh, I've, I've owned him so hard on a couple of occasions. I felt... How? Well, I told you guys before that time that he broke his penis because of me. Yeah, when, he, when we yeah, were six. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that guy? Yeah, and now he's a street magician. Oh, yeah, you oh know? Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had he had a lot of like really like in, insane periods of his life. Oh, yeah, so this Chris, after Chris you Chan, broke his dick? Chris Chan has a broken. Yeah, a couple penis. years after. <laughs> so actually, he's getting you back for breaking. Have you guys seen sort Chris of. Chan's yeah. penis? <laughs> Chris Chan's penis is broken. You've showed it to us. A he definitely times. snapped it at some point. It healed Jeez. all fucked up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I Thomas never want to. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I never want to snap my dick. 
No. That seems bad. Yeah. So he didn't get into college, so he decided, like, he had nowhere to go, so he decided he was going to become an Orthodox Jewish rabbi, right? Yeah, so he yeah. grew the curls, and he, like, got the suit, and he went to yeshiva, and then he, like, ultimately got kicked out for leaving something in the microwave for 25 minutes with a set of fire, and also really? smoking too much <laughs> weed. And then he got kicked <laughs> <laughs> You got kicked out. You leave something in the mic. You when you put something in the microwave, you want to eat it so quick. Right. It was supposed to be for like two minutes and fifty seconds or something. So that he accidentally hit twenty five minutes because he, he was forgot, high. But he never he for- checked. He got stoned. He forgot about it. Then a fire. Whatever. So Tommy, Tommy like goes through this metamorphosis, becomes an Orthodox Jew, and I'm at college for my freshman year, and I get a call. He's like, uh, Adam, how's it going? No. And I'm like, Tommy, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's like, uh, I'm coming down to Washington, D.C. I'm going to come uh, visit you. And I'm like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah. And then like he shows up at my dorm, like just dressed like a fucking blues brother. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so fucking embarrassing. What's up embarrassing. with the little weird strings they have on the sides? The sit sits? Yeah, what are those about? Uh, some fucking thing that they think what is they it? have to do. I want to know. It's tied in a particular way to represent the 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 mitzvahs like uh, the 560 oh yeah how, that's how many mitzvahs there are yeah there's like a certain number he's getting of your mitzvahs. dick sucked a mitzvah if it's like no it's not because it's wasting seed what if it's to get it hard um, to fuck your wife and make a baby anyway we're wait at- isn't fucking do, is it someone was telling me the jews have to if you don't get fucked good as a jewish woman you can divorce your husband that yeah that's like bullshit that's i guess i mean you have to get a like a get to get a divorce it's like very like so uh, a rabbi it's, it's has sexist. to watch you fuck yeah if you're <laughs> and, a, <it's> not, <laughs> and it, he's like yep that's a poor dicking <laughs> if your husband it. disappears on you mm-hmm. you can't get a divorce from him if you're like you're like he's never coming back they're like sorry you're married sorry really yeah it's like fucked mm-hmm. up and sexist and bullshit anyway tommy's like become an orthodox jew he's visiting me in my dorm there's like girls around it's like really embarrassing i'm walking around with this fucking amish <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like around he looks so stupid i'm like Tommy, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you and he's like adam uh, i don't know if you uh have anything to smoke marijuana weed wait you know, he's like, doing the voice yeah he changed the way he spoke <laughs> it was so fucking embarrassing that's awesome and then, like, so we go to, a, like, so he's like, you're allowed to smoke weed is there anything I could eat? The kosher restaurant. I'm like, uh, so we, like, Google, I find a kosher restaurant. We go to the kosher restaurant, and um, he goes to the waiter, and he's like, uh, excuse me, can I, I'd like to get a l'chaim for the boys, right? He wanted to, like, get us shots. And we were, like, 19 at the time. And he had this fake ID we used, he used to use in college, or in high school, from Oregon, it was a piece of shit, and he used to go to like grocery stores and buy like plastic he handles was still of vodka. Using it? He was using the same fake ID, <laughs> even though he looked like a fucking rabbi. <laughs> even though now. he looked like a rabbi now, <laughs> and uh, so he goes up to he's like, uh, "All right, I'm gonna need to see some ID." And so he pulls out the same piece of shit fake ID <laughs> that he used in high school, and the the guy looked What's at the it. Last name, right? Right. It had his real name, and the guy looked at it. He's like, "You mean?" Uh, you mean to tell me your name is Tommy Giorgione? <laughs> <laughs> which was <laughs> <laughs> which was true. His name which is his Giorgione? actual. Yeah, his his dad's Italian. His mom's Jewish. Oh, which was my actually God. true. Like it was the only real part of the ID. That but, is so fucking funny. Yeah, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> and then I like sent him on a bus back to yeshiva, and he got kicked out like two weeks later. <laughs> Tommy Giorgione, the, the rabbi, yeah, yeah. Rabbi Giorgione, Rabbi Giorgione. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, oh. his, his middle name was Michael, and his brother's middle name was Angelo. Dude, yes. they were such like wops. Man. That's hilarious. Dude. Yeah, and he wanted to be a rabbi. Yeah, these are my brothers: Michael, Andrio, uh, uh, Raphael, Donatello, <laughs> Donatello. Splinter, <laughs> April Craig. O'Neil. This is my sister, April O'Neil, <laughs> Ju Giuliani. Yeah, this is my best friend, uh, the guy with the hockey mask. <laughs> yeah. I could go on about this Tommy Casey, for days. Casey Jones, baby. Yeah. Why do you have the high, he Was he ripping off Jason with that hockey no, mask? No, he had a, he had a, cricket, uh, a cricket bat. Mm. Did he have, he didn't have a but hockey he had, mask. He had a hockey mask. Casey Jones? Yeah. From Ninjas? Yeah. Ninja Turtles? Yeah, yeah he had a ho- yeah. hockey mask. And yeah, I yeah, always yeah. thought he was ripping off Jason. I just remember we talked about it on the podcast yesterday about how fun it looked like the Foot Clan like skate yeah, yeah, skate yeah. rink yeah skate which, park uh, early appearance by Sam Rockwell 
Yeah, that's, that's right. right. A young yeah, Sam you Rockwell. Brought yeah. that up too. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> fuck. Now I'm hungry, dude. Uh, he's in uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, probably the shittiest Charlie Kaufman movie. Um, uh, sure. yeah. Although I watched I Anomalisa right. recently, and that definitely should have been a short, not a full length. I film. agree. It, yeah, it was too long, but yeah. it was cool. Yeah, that's yeah. what people say about my dick. Yeah, it that, seemed that more like uh, a play. It's too long, but it's cool. Apparently, it was a radio <laughs> play that he wrote, and then that he then got uh, stop motion animation. And yeah, I could see how it would work as a radio play. It sounds cool it, as a radio play. It works play. as stop motion, like the premise. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I was bored with it ha- halfway through. It got a little boring. In the it, which sucks because I love Charlie Kaufman so much. I love him too. Yeah. Well, you know. He's the greatest screenwriter. I think he is. I think he's the great. You know, you know he was on that for staff while. for the Dana Carvey show, which is like the most. Really? Le- it's the most legendary writer's room in comedy history yeah, dude, it's, it was a comedy show but the writer's room with charlie kaufman david mamet uh, <laughs> no it was uh, uh louis. it was louis uh fucking robert smigel colbert, uh, colbert carell uh dino samantopoulos uh a couple other like heads and yeah. fucking charlie kaufman have was, you like, ever seen the dana carvey show it's very bad right it's not good yeah it's not good <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they became great because they saw it and was like, "We got to do what? better." Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> we got to fix this. Um, yeah, yeah, it's crazy that they. It's like the traveling Wilburys, right? It was like, also on prime time on ABC right, right when Disney bought them. So it's like they got yeah, they couldn't go into, buck wild. Yeah, they couldn't do anything. It was yeah. like when the Lakers got Carl Malone and Gary Payton. It just no, like did cool. not work out. <laughs> it almost did. They got swept. Whatever. They get swept. They got swept. I thought they got yeah, won. yeah. By the by the. I remember they didn't get swept. They oh no, no, game. five games. They won yeah, they game got, one, and then they no, got. No, they didn't win game one. I thought they did. I thought they they went down one. Whatever. Yeah. Like, Fuck oh, that. Yeah, I think they won game two. Yeah, and everyone's like, and "Oh, it's then, fine, it's fine," and then they just got their and shit then rocked. Kobe like shot them out of one of the games. Yeah, <laughs> that series sucked. Yeah, I don't even. Do you remember, remember that Carl Malone tried to fuck Kobe's wife? She, uh, it was a, uh, he was, um, uh, he was wearing like a cowboy hat in, in the <laughs> locker room. Which, by the way, Carl Malone is a hilarious, like historical piece of shit. He's got like yeah. so many kids, like with different, you know, doesn't give a fuck about them. Carl Malone uh, is the same guy as that fucking sheriff that loves Donald Trump. From, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know who I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, sheriff course, David yeah. Clark. He puts like horns on his car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, He's just a black dude that's also a redneck. Just, yeah, country as hell. Yeah. But he had, um, he, he was wearing a cowboy hat and Kobe's wife was like, well, it looks like you're hunting. He's like, what are you hunting for? And he had like cowboy boots. And, and by the way, she was 17 at the time. Yeah, she was young as hell. Or 18. Yeah, she was yeah. young as hell. And he was like, I'm hunting little Mexican girls. <laughs> That's what he told her. <laughs> and he was just trying to fuck her and they uh, they almost like fought about it. Dude, Although, and also the rumor was... That's the Diamond Dallas Page's wrestling partner. Carl Malone. That's right. Yeah. You think Carl Malone always was a redneck, or it just like happened over time? He's from Arkansas. No, I think he always has been because he used to have like a curl. So it's like you had to buy that curl juice <laughs> in a black neighborhood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then you like left in you know in your mm-hmm. cowboy hat. Yeah, it's right, true. Your like pickup truck. Yeah, he used <laughs> to be dripping. What do you think, Nick, about uh, Carl Malone? <laughs> Talking about your favorite sport again. Oh yeah, uh, I forget. I was looking up something on my phone and I got distracted. <laughs> So, I mean, normally I would, you know... I you mean, would have something really you good. You got national. You got basketball. <laughs> you got association. Hey, there he is. No, I really want to watch this fucking video that I got queued up here. What, should we watch it? Uh, we no, we got to wait until we finish the podcast because I don't want to just sit here in silence and then go back and edit the... I've got enough fucking work to do. I can't yeah. fucking, you know... I can't be bothered to put any work into the podcast <laughs> <laughs> because I got to I got to sit here and think about making a fucking carrot puree before I leave town. Oh yeah, have we ever talked about how you're leaving? No, should we? I don't want anybody to know that I'm. I mean, we did mention that I'm going overseas for a yeah. That's an expensive, they'll figure it out. Yeah, he's getting dick enlargement yeah. surgery. Yeah, 
Dick well, I'm and having shit. my brain replaced with the dick. <laughs> I'm getting a fat woman's brain put in my head <laughs> because apparently they're the, the smartest, smartest yeah. the, the smartest people. This is my favorite thing fat girls do is they're like, um, we're all we're equally beautiful. We're all the same equal. We're you know I'm as beautiful as uh, as a hot woman except right. I'm you know I'm hot except I'm smarter too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm as hot as them, but then also I'm smarter and funnier than they are. They're dumb bitches, but uh, we're equal. Equal hot. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, <clears throat> we are talking earlier about fast food uh, or ch- fried chicken restaurants. I want some damn Popeyes now. Rob mentioned Popeyes. Popeyes is the best fried chicken. No, the best fried chicken is the Amish markets. Okay, but, you know, national chains. Oh, it's yeah. It's got to be number one. You know what sucks is the one in New York, Blue Ribbon. It's very expensive. Way overpriced, way, oh, yeah, that's yeah. The thing about New Way York overpriced, and places. that fucking place smells like so, uh, like peanut oil to the extent that it's fucking off Oppressive, yeah. yeah. They, they, they pump the smell of peanut oil in the air to let you know, ooh, we use fucking peanut oil. That's the nice, that's the fucking bougie oil. Why is that yeah. the good oil? Because it's more expensive, it I guess. It kills some people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. It takes out the weak. It was uh, George Washington Carver. Because if Carver. you got... And look, and this is uh, a message to parents out there. If your bitch-ass kid can't eat peanuts, <laughs> kill him. You know? <laughs> Put him down. Get your dick cut off because you can't produce a normal human being. That's right. If your child is allergic to peanuts, you should be in jail. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> kill your child. Kill yourself. I wear, when Not I a it. sermon. Just a message. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sermon. Just a thought. When I worked at Jewish summer camp, just remembering all the allergies of all the kids, it was next to impossible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then one time I called, I was like, what, guys, what are you, autistic? And then I forgot that three of them were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I really like Bojangles. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, that's oh. a southern one, right? That's, yeah. That's southern, yeah. But Bojangles, like their menu is offensive. What it why it's <laughs> like they call their sides fixins. Hell yeah, yeah dude. Like F I X I N apostrophe. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's already called Bojangles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm already like, like yeah, that feel that w- weird walking in here. Mm. That sounds like uh, uh, a uh wait here when you clown. done damn place your order. <laughs> no why you have to uh, the grammar has to be fucked up. <laughs> yeah, wasn't Bojangles yeah, what Al Jolson called his uh, so I said, there the go bathroom. the bathroom. <laughs> 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 like the floor is made out of tap shoe bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like so when you walk in. Shoes yeah. <laughs> 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 That's yeah. hilarious. Have you had Roscoe's out in LA? Yeah, I've had Roscoe's. It's not bad. Yeah. Still yeah. farms, dude. I don't know if Gas the chicken's bro. great. Dude, the chicken's that good. My, right. It's my, cool that you get it with waffles. At my cousin's is. wedding over the summer, my other cousin was engaged to this like massive oaf. This guy that was just this big fat dumbass who nice guy, but like <laughs> you know, right. I mean like he's a guy I would be friendly to if he wasn't like dating a family member of mine. Engaged right. to, by the way. Because she like works real hard and she's like a nurse. And he was like, well, my dream is to work in the beer industry. Uh, you know, he was like 32 uh, years old. He just wanted to be a beer sommelier. Bruce's own beer? Yeah, yeah. He, was just always, he always wanted to talk to you about beer, which isn't impressive to anyone over the age of 22. Right. It's, you're so cool in a freshman dorm. <laughs> yeah, If right. you know a lot about beer. If you know beer. a lot about microbrews and shit. And uh, so he just would just get trashed all the time. And we're all like sharing a house at my uh, cousin's wedding. It was out on the shore. And... Uh, He's like, who wants food? And it's like, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. We're just going to go to bed. (laughs) And he's like, I'm going to go. There's like a Royal Farms on the other side of the highway. And I was like, I don't see a way to get over there. You're going to have to get in the car and get on the access road. You're drunk. I don't want to fucking drive you, you know? Right. And this motherfucker just (laughs) runs across the highway. (laughs) Like both of you. I'm like, don't do that, dude. You're going to fucking die. He like jumps over the fucking barrier. And I just go back in the house and I'm like, I'm like, hey, I think your fiance might die, you know. <laughs> and she's like, oh, he's fucking, he's a fucking idiot or That's whatever. That's incredible. And then like, it, you know, 45 minutes later, he comes back and he's bought like nine chicken boxes and <laughs> a fucking t- a giant thing of donuts. Like the, th- <laughs> like the thing you get for an AA meeting, like that size donuts <laughs> and like all this shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. And uh, cups of cheese, nacho cheese to dip bread in. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, Ruffo gives you that Ew. option to add on yeah. nacho cheese on Yo, the bread. He went, he went insane, they apparently. Were... He fucking like, lost oh, his mind. Oh, that's the guy? Oh, that's that the guy? guy? Yeah. yeah, he went insane, and they fucking... Uh, 
Uh, well, me and my other cousin would always laugh at him for being, you know, for his whole beer, his dumb beer thing. Of course. And my mom was telling me a story. She was like, yeah, it was really sad. Like, you know, she had to call the cops and the cops showed up and he tried to run out the back door and they went around the, the back of the house and... You know, he just like grabbed his keg and he like barreled through the cops. He was like using the keg <laughs> as a weapon, <laughs> like, like some kind of alcohol as a battering ram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's incredible. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now my aunt was so pleased when uh, she found out that that happened. Yeah, break up by reason. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, she was not not pleased when she found out they were engaged. Oh, good. For, well, good for your cousin, dude. If any, if you want, if you want, I'll just give me her address and I'll go over and fuck her. Yeah, she would probably make your life miserable. Just to calm her down. Just I, well, I don't know. I guess I, her parents were such fucking like type A stickler, you know, like you know, made her all. She's been obsessed with homework for the last thirty years. Right, right. You know, so she's chose like the most difficult profession to get into based on like homework alone. Right. And I don't like. What she, does she do? She's like an RN. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she just works all the fucking time. Yeah. You make and good money on that. You make good that. money, but yeah. it's like so much work. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, kind of like podcasting. Yeah, and that's why she ends up Same shit, like yeah. you know dating a guy that's fucking it, is it, it really pursuing a career in wearing sweatpants and annoying people, <laughs> 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 knowing what hops are. Yeah. Dude, fucking beer. Anyone is a beer expert. You have zero fucking excuse to be that guy if you're older than 22 years old. 100%. You have the year you learn, you, you can legally drink, and you can fucking like, oh, yeah, I know a little bit about fucking craft brews or whatever. Anything beyond that, you're an you're abject fucking loser. Well, you're just sad, and you're like looking for a meaning in your life. Like that's people- yeah, but everybody is, you know. Yeah. Find something else. I have more respect for the people that are like really into fucking Game of Thrones or medieval <laughs> history oh, God. than I do people that are fucking beer sommeliers. No, you're totally right. Yeah, but I'm just trying to explain. It. It's like people who are sad about their wa- their wives are too mean. Mm-hmm. They they just fucking they they take comfort in like knowing what a porter is. You know what I mean? Knowing what a nitro stout is. Yeah, yeah. I heard some guy on the train the other day talking to this lady he works with that clearly didn't want to be talking to him outside the office, yeah, but he just kept yeah, going. Yeah. It's like, yeah. So anyway, this weekend, I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna unkeg a, a cider I've been working on for a while. Oh. You know, I don't have any. I, I live alone, so oh. I'm gonna get like I got a nice bread that goes well with the cider, and I'm gonna. <laughs> Just sit back and maybe binge some Netflix. Just Steve Carell. Drink my new in, uh, cider. Talking about egg salad in 40-year-old version. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 40-year-old exactly. Yeah. Dude, it was so uncomfortable. He was like, what, do you, what are you up to? She's like, well, you know, I have a husband and... Uh, yeah, full life of yeah, children that I love. Kids. Like, I yeah, you ever fuck too. up and make plans with a coworker, and then like the day, the shift ends and they're like, so yeah, you know, you know if you want to go see that movie or whatever, and you're like... What the fuck did I do? <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did I make plans You're with getting you? Getting caught up in that lunchroom high. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know right. I mean? Yeah, like, I want to be friends with this guy. <laughs> There's 600 people in this office. There's got to be one of them that's cool, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, boo. You know, like I'm fucking out. I'm done. I never want to see you again. Uh, yeah, that sucked, man. The only time, I mean, I haven't worked in an office very long in my life, but just it was. I guess it was just that. That when I was the paralegal, that that would happen sometimes. And the only reason I even went to Hangs is when I was trying to fuck a coworker. Yeah. That's really the only reason. There was only know. one hot at the girl. foreclosure law firm at the you worked at. Foreclosure law firm. There was only one hot girl at that call center I worked at, and I went up to her one day, and I was like, "Hey, what's up? What's your name?" I was like, oh, "We should like hang out sometime." She was like, "Yeah, okay, sure." And I was like, "Whoa, whoa never mind. <laughs> right, that is not a good sign." <laughs> Rob, what's was your when's the last real job you had? Um, I used to uh, work in the sports department at a, a, a news network. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> where in a, at CNN <laughs> in Atlanta? Yep, yep, that's the one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Did you do any fucking cool shit? Um, like I was trying to do comedy, so right. you didn't give a fuck. So yeah, so I would convince them that I was into. Golf and tennis <laughs> and anything during the day, so I could do comedy at night. Oh so, shit! Yeah, because it like 
they would only have like the white people look at golf and stuff. <laughs> right, 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 right. Just assume they knew about it. But so yeah, that's I think God that's why Tiger I Woods, got all dude. preppy and stuff is just <laughs> so that they would believe I was yeah. into golf. And so you could cover like, a high tea cricket. <laughs> yeah, and for, like, I, a nice a nice eight a.m. round of badminton. Yeah. Oh man, anything in the morning I would love. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Any any European anything oh, I'd yeah. be down for. It. What would you have to do? Just watching cut highlights. Oh, tight. yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. fun. It would be, yeah. It was fun. It was fun. Did you fuck any of your coworkers? No, no. There was like one that everybody in the department was after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what happens. It becomes like prison where yeah. it's just like you just have to. It's it's a fixed community, and you forget other women exist. And it becomes like everyone has to get the hot one in one office. Yeah, that's, you know? and that's why The Office was such a good show, because they were able to trick you into thinking Pam was hot for like the first three seasons of that show. <laughs> yeah. You would think Pam was, you're like, wow, Pam's so beautiful, and then you would change the channel and be like, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, dude, Pam could Yeah, get when it, he went to Philly and then got with Rashida, Rashida Jones, Jones yeah. next level, and then yeah. came back, it's like, why is he yeah, dealing with Yeah, what the fuck are you yeah. doing, Jim? Like, yo, you brought the Philly Pam chick back to sucks, Scranton. Pam dude. Yeah. Pam, is, Pam is like the, she's the fucking, she wants to be an artist but she has no real fucking talent well they all suck she, I, yeah they all suck sure Jim sucks yeah. the worst we've talked about how he's just tricking a retarded person yeah, yeah, yeah. he's playing yeah. pranks well the whole show guy. is yeah the, I, 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 I've mentioned it before but I've always wanted to edit that piece of video with a guy with Down Syndrome and his family at a restaurant and they're letting the Down Syndrome guy read the menu and he's sounding out the words slowly to the waiter like boop B- 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 pizza yeah. and then it just quickly cuts to Jim <laughs> Doing the looking, gym smirk. At the gym, <laughs> looking at the camera I'm like oh well, so yeah. I tried to be Jim from the office for Halloween one year uh-huh. mm-hmm. but I didn't like I didn't do white face I didn't course, wear a yeah. wig or nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. I just put dress clothes on and people were like who are you <laughs> are you Obama like no yeah. man I'm Jim. I'm Jim from the office. Like, why Are can't you I be Obama? Jim? <laughs> That's also the only black person in dress clothes they can come up with. Yeah. He's literally the president. That's amazing. Did you come from work? Oh, you're Obama. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, that's why so many people fuck up and do blackface on Halloween. Like those idiots that like don't know any better, and suddenly they're on the front page of BuzzFeed. <laughs> right, right, right. It's because they're like, yeah, that's an important part of the costume. I want to make my costume more right. realistic. Yeah. <laughs> How else am I supposed to be Martin Luther King <laughs> for Halloween? <laughs> Unless I do it in blackface. <laughs> that shit is so funny. I remember I, I was George this Halloween. You know, George. You look great. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. It was a great costume. I fucking went all out. And two people were like, are you Ken Bone? <laughs> I wanted to fucking slap them. They were like, oh, dude, awesome. Ken Bone. <laughs> I was like, what? The last I'm costume. A fucking red sweater. I'm just yeah. a fat and you don't have a mustache. And you don't have a mustache. I don't have a mustache. That's so funny. I had shaved my head completely skin and yeah. I could fuck. I the, last, the last costume I did, I, I had pigtails and I put on a woman's makeup and I... St- I wore like a woman's sweater and I put a pillow under my stomach and I was just a pregnant woman. <laughs> and I went to class like that. It was in community college and people were like, are you Bristol Palin? And I was like, yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> not? I I just didn't, you know, I wanted to wear women's yeah. makeup. Yeah, I'm just trans and testing the yeah, waters. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. It's Some Halloween. People, I looked beautiful, Halloween. dude. I looked so good. I was so cute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Citronella, that's your trans name. I mm-hmm. hate dressing up, and I put on this. No, like, my trans name is Star Fox. <laughs> I put on this stupid Scottish hat two years ago to go to this party, and I hate dressing up. So I'm like, I'm just gonna wear the hat. That's gonna be my thing. And some girl like comes up to me. She's like, "You rock, you rule." And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" She's like, "Nardwar." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." And then I hooked up with her that night. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the fucking Adam Luck. Dude. I made it. Yeah. I, we made out. It wasn't a hookup. We made. We kissed. Where, we where, when was this? Two years ago on Halloween. Here's I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Why, I'm why gonna get fake breasts. It? I'm gonna get fake breasts, blackface, a diaper, big Coke bottle, sunglasses, and be a, a blackface guy with Down syndrome who's also trans. <laughs> 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 and then it should just go to parties and explain that to people. No, that was, I'm not doing blackface. The costume is a person doing blackface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't understand. He's retarded. <laughs> he doesn't know any better. 
<laughs> You're making up a character for Halloween. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's good, dude. You should do that. Yeah. Well, that. Tim Tim Dillon had that joke about Halloween costumes, where he's like, "Why did I get? Why did have everyone mad? I'm a, dr- a drone with dead be- dead trans babies hanging off the wings. Why did I lose my job as a school teacher? I don't get it." <laughs> uh, fuck. Rob, you were saying? Oh man, I've been trying for so long. Yeah, yeah. It's Welcome to Come Town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I just hate how Halloween becomes like a guessing game. Oh yeah. Even yeah. with like people who you don't want to talk to. Like, oh yeah. You know, like you uh, have to guess. Like I was a, a Egyptian guy this past Halloween. Which one? I was uh, Osiris. Oh, I was hoping you would say Keck. Do you guys know about Keck? Nah. He's, a, he's Pepe, right? Yeah. Apparently, there's an Egyptian god. That has the same name as something that was already a, some weird alt right meme. Right. This Keck thing, because and uh, by chance, there's an Egyptian god named Keck that has Pepe's head. It's mm. hilarious. Yeah, Keck is on World of Warcraft. If you uh, type LOL, what is this weird world? At Stav, we found out this episode was a hacker at one point. <laughs> yeah, he's playing First World of, all, of Duncan Warcraft. Will explain this to he me. He has I all this no deep idea. knowledge of alt right stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Stav's fucking coming out of the out of the racist. I'm closet, anonymous, dude. dude. No, this was explained anonymous? to me. Uh, but yeah, apparently it's when you scramble. If you type LOL at, in fucking War- World of Warcraft, it scrambles it to Keck. So that's like you're getting trolled by guys on World of Warcraft, and it became a meme. And that is the name of an Egyptian god who looks like Pepe. It's pretty fun. Mm. It's a pretty crazy coincidence. Wow. That it's all this fucking, you know. My favorite coincidence is when you type in nine eleven and wing dings, it's a fucking like plane going into buildings and like a thumb up. <laughs> and then if you do it in web dings, it's a fucking skull, the star of David. No. Yeah, and then like a smiley face. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's incredible, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, That's let's do that cool. right now. Yeah, it is. What happens cool. if you put three eleven in wing? <laughs> yeah. Um and then it's a it, bong. Yeah. Right. It's a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> um, the word nine eleven, <laughs> and then Milo sucking off a thirteen year old. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that he. Li- I thought he liked to hook up with the black guys. I didn't think he liked to. Hook yeah, up apparently with the kids. that was all a cover for raping children. No, I think. Wow. He, I think he liked being the child getting raped. Yeah, is how I read that. Oh, like he, he was like raped a, when he was 13. Yeah, and, like you know, the shitty profound. thing is people are going to focus on the fact that he's an all right guy or that he's a racist or whatever. Some people are going to take it the wrong direction and say like, oh, he's gay. You know, I mean, the alt right guys will do that and say he's gay. That's why he's a pedophile. Right. When it's like, no, it's because he's Greek. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. He's what a pedophile is because he's a he's Greek He's barely person. Greek, dude. He's extremely Greek. No, now that we know that he has the, the key detail <laughs> yeah. that makes one Greek. <laughs> What if he likes thirteen-year-old black boys? Like, oh, what if he's maybe. got like B two K posters? He just saw. Like, <laughs> he just saw Moonlight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he loves. Yeah, he's he, basically Birdman. Yeah. There's no way Birdman didn't molest everyone, right? On Cash Money. Oh, hundred percent. I thought you meant Chris Michael Anderson. Keith. Oh, but no, 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 no. no. <laughs> like I didn't hear about that. No, no, no. Bert, yeah, dude. Like oh, Lil yeah. Wayne, they kissed. They remember they would kiss. Yeah, on the they mouth kissed on One Hundred Six in Park. Yeah, it was awesome. It was so hilarious. Wait, so yeah, I guess <laughs> that's what. And and like Lil Wayne was signed. He was in a group of with a bunch of other teenagers that he definitely fucked. One of them's name was Young Turk. Really? I wanted to bring that up, but then I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I've butted in with too many dumb tangents. <laughs> no, no, that's what the show is. Yeah, we've already actually filled the time. So oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're good. Just dude. Hanging out right we're now. We're cruising. Just boys sucking and fucking. Yeah. Um, I really want to watch this PSA though. I want to show you guys. You want to watch it? No, because again, I don't want to have to figure out an edit point and go back. Are you going to edit the first one? What? Which first one? The one with the kid getting fucked in the ass? No. Oh. No, people can find it on their own. <laughs> I found it. If the one we were talking about earlier with the kid getting fucked by the old man, if you Google, if you look on YouTube for uh, Mr. M- Mac. Old man fucks child. M- Mr. Mac PSA or uh, The Day We Spilled the Paint, I think is the name of it. 
<laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Spilled the paint. <laughs> well, that's what happens in it. In the video, the fucking old man, he's like, he's like, why don't you come in my workshop and we can paint a birdhouse? Which, uh, as humiliating as it is for that child actor, imagine being an aging actor. Yeah, yeah, you trying did to find work as a yeah. young man. <laughs> yeah, and uh, like you know, you you were in one western in 1957, and you're like, dot dot, my agent just called. <laughs> uh, something finally came in, <laughs> and then you play an old man rapist in a fucking PSA for cool <laughs> boys, and so. Yeah, the old man is like, come out me in my workshop. He's like, we're going to paint this birdhouse. And so they're painting it. And the old man, like, just pours paint all over the little boy's, like, clothes. He's like, oh, what did you do? You spilled paint everywhere. And he's like, you got to get out of those clothes. And he takes the kid's clothes off. And he's like, now, let's take a picture to remember the day we spilled the paint. <laughs> 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 Which, uh, you know, I think that is the definition and the meaning of the song, Smooth Operator. <laughs> he spilled the paint before he spilled his load. Yeah. Smooth Operator. What is that? Sade? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a good song. More like Shady. Shady Pedophile. <laughs> the song was about... Fucking... Yeah, it was actually about... It was about the hottest woman of all time. Yeah. She is real hot. She's incredible. She still looks good. Yeah. I watched all her videos one morning. Nice. Yeah. The hottest one of all time? Beat off, right? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> There's no way you don't beat off after that. I don't know. There was Size so old. I just was like, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, her music, you know, gets you in gets the mood. Gets you in the fuck mood. Size yeah. 38, dude. I love that shit. You know, Marilyn Monroe was 195 pounds. <laughs> she died. Yeah, she wasn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just that way. It's, first of all, maybe, sure, but who in their mind imagines Marilyn Monroe and they're like, mm -hmm, yeah, I can see her now. That huge huge pig yeah. <laughs> you know that's that. exactly who i think of <laughs> i think of marilyn monroe yeah. is that morbidly obese woman <laughs> yeah you know that marilyn monroe quote that everybody always uses yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The, the definition of insanity is doing <laughs> is fucking two Kennedys and expecting different results. <laughs> like if you can't accept me at my worst right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. my best has anyone ever said that in her voice because I feel like it wouldn't be as great of a quote if it's, if you can't accept me in my worst. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't look don't so dumb, bitch. Don't accept me in my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. shut up. <laughs> yeah. Well, just the people that say that. <laughs> yeah, shut up, you fucking dumb bitch. Uh, the people that say that, it's not like their best is any good. You know what I mean? Like, no one yeah. who's any good says that quote. It's always Absolutely. fucking drunk. Dumb pieces of shit. It's also it, like it, it used to justify emotional abuse in a lot of cases. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, like fucking, if you can't accept me at my worst, meaning when I'm being a fucking psychopathic piece of shit <laughs> yeah. and destroying everything <laughs> right, in your right, apartment right, right. <laughs> because I thought I saw a text message from somebody, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then you don't deserve me when I'm not acting like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> also, who wants the worst? Think about your worst, dude. I'm just like oh, beating off into socks and pissing yeah. in Gatorade bottles even though the the bathroom is open I just, that's my worst no one should have yeah. to fucking put up with that yeah, kind of horrible bad. behavior right. yeah, yeah. that's gross what's your worst bitch my worst uh, crying in front of girls shut up dude I'm sorry I'm you know, perfect <laughs> my, 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 my quote is, is my quote is you don't deserve me <laughs> <laughs> I am a top flight dude <laughs> Top flight. <laughs> I'm a five star dick. I'm a tier one operator. Dick. Yeah, tier one operator. It's about the guys who killed Bin Laden. All right, <laughs> we got it. We've done nine podcasts today, and so we got to wrap this one up. Rob, thanks for coming. Thanks, dude. Thanks for having me. Do you got anything you want to plug? This will probably not go up for another couple of weeks. Um, I got the Book of Yay podcast all about Check Kanye it out. West. I've been on it. it. Was fun. Um, yeah, just look out for him. Okay, look Bob out for Hayes. Rob. And come to our show. Come on, everybody, the fourth Monday of the month. Thanks, right. guys. Bye. Bye.